as you know that uh, administration governance play extremely important role in designing the execution strategy. As you know that more independence, self govern, govern education system, education system at the institution level and ethical leadership play extremely important role in the new education architecture. High quality education and research require intellectual ferment in the nurturing culture and that is the base of governance of higher education institution which should create ecosystem and nurture the culture of good governance. Higher education system is required to perform in an independent manner and that is possible when they are governed by independent boards and then which is absolute autonomy in, in making the decision related to academic and administration and hence this board consisting of expert from different field to contribute in academic finance administration and which is which is free from any external uh, interference will give the best methodology of the good governance and the decisions made by the good governance will play extremely important role in executing the institutional educational development program. When we talk about self governing entities and um, basically uh, these institutions will act as a autonomous independent stand alone institution. This means the existing affiliation system which is a big burden for every university will also go away. Every institution will become autonomous degree awarding institution and will play extremely important role in harnessing all opportunities to students and teachers. And hence when we talk about uh, creating now transforming excellent institutions of around maybe 15,000 institution will be in true sense vibrant multidisciplinary institutions. This will be possible when we are existing system of private and public institution, funded and unfunded institute. They are basically treated at par by the regulatory regime and hence it will also constrain the commercialization of education and it will improve, it will, it, it will enhance the philanthropic efforts which is engaged in the, in the education system. As you know that the autonomy has to be with accountability as well as uh, with seriousness and when we are offering faculty with academic freedom, curriculum empowerment including uh, pedagogical approaches as well as assessment and evaluation process and research, the institution will flourish in every chosen field and they will become stand alone institution of excellence in the chosen field. Hence, when we talk about a good governance, competent faculty as well as the outcome which is transforming the regulatory system into more facilitating system. And that is possible when the regulatory system is becoming effective, enabling responsive regulation to encourage excellence and public spiritness in higher education. Regulation is not only to control the activities, but act as a facilitator to, to have more equity, excellence, financial stability along with good governance to the institutions. And hence there is requirement of reorganization of the structure of uh, the new architecture. There are multiple in the existing system, multiple regulatory system, but this creates basically hindrance in the progress of the education system, education institution. And hence there should be a single regulatory system along with other institutions, other, other councils as a standard setting system, funding giving agencies as well as accreditation uh, agencies and regulation system. And these four aspects will be handled by independent bodies, eliminating the concentration of power and conflicts of interest. The National Higher Education Regulatory Authority is going to come in picture so that for all higher education institution including professional education will be regulated, facilitated 
and will be transformed into the higher education of excellence. All the other regulatory bodies will be converted into professional standard setting bodies. As you know that in new education structure, we need regulatory system, but we need to also the bodies which will set up the standards in education and in research. Hence, uh, there will be a the new transformation, new system. For example, it is proposed that University Grants Commission will be transformed into Higher Education Grants Council as designed in, in uh, National Education Policy Draft. Similarly, there will be the General Education Council will be set up and will be developed as National Higher Education Qualification Framework to define graduate attributes. One place is governance, second agency is setting up the standards with respect to the National Higher Education Qualification Framework and which will define what the graduate out, out attributes should be there along with expected learning outcomes for higher education. When we talk about these two system, the third system comes accreditation. As you know that accreditation, NIRF ranking, QS ranking, all this aspect will ensure not only setting up the new benchmark, but attending the new higher and higher level of excellence, which will be at par with international standards. So, accreditation on basic parameters will form the base for regulation. The National Assessment and Accreditation Council will develop the ecosystem of accreditation institute and basically it will facilitate the progress in the form of accreditation. As you know that when we talk about uh, a common regulatory system both for private and public higher educational institution, more philanthropic initiative will be encouraged in private institution. Here also I am going to talk about the educational skill the teacher should have to also attract the philanthropic contribution in the higher education. And as you know that every department, state department of higher education will be involved at policy level. State council, every state has higher education state council. They will facilitate the peer support and best practice in, in, uh, in, in sharing the various best practices. And hence, as you know, in all this new education structure, the teacher education and the teacher plays extremely important role. And hence, as we discuss that the, the, the teacher performs well when he is given full academic freedom, he is empowered, he is trained and for that he is required to be prepared. And hence, the rigorous teacher preparation is the most important aspect in, in, in highest quality training component is to be included in the training program. Pedagogy and practice as well as the teacher education system has to be multidisciplinary along with the universities. And hence, it is proposed that a four year integral bachelor program in teachers education will be the minimum qualification for school teacher. And there are different methods to evaluate the teaching competency, academic excellence, academic vision as well as professional planning of a teacher to evaluate him as an intellectual uh, person in order to, to, the, to the demanding uh, professional aspect. The professional development as well as academic development is extremely important as a continuous development of teacher to keep the space with the, with the development of, uh, of industry, technological development in multidisciplinary system and hence whether it is specific competency development based on interdisciplinary expertise is going to be the, the extremely important role for, 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 for teachers education. And hence, the newly proposed four year beard course is at par with any other undergraduate program will play extremely important role in, in creating a good uh, teachers for school education and for higher education also there are methodology that the, the teacher should acquire certain level of teaching skill uh, to become a good teacher along with a good researcher. As you know that um, the teachers are basically uh, developing the, the curriculum. They are also developing the methodology for, for delivering the curriculum. 
and also they should be capable of designing the every time new system of assessment and um, evaluation of student. The teachers should be able to design the new problems which are which are relevant to the industry and through discussion through through experience, participative experience learning should be able to de develop the solution in such a way that the learner always uh, create the knowledge based on the proof of concept and hence it is essential that teachers are required to develop the certain sets of skill. The, the sets of skill though whether it is learning skill, whether it is critical thinking, whether it is analysis an analytical thinking or whether it is uh, innovative thinking. Uh, we need to develop the, the creative thinking while we, we, we become a good teacher or we, we develop a, a good teacher who is basically the bridge between knowledge and learner. He has to transform the knowledge in such a way that it remains always with the student. As you know that when some of the concepts are cl made clear to that level that it remains always even sometime the, the students say that um, this, this, this teacher has explained me this concept may be 20, 30 years back, but still today I remember this concept and application of this concept. This is how the retention or attainment level of the knowledge is, is extremely important and for that the broad based competency and 21st century skill is extremely important to be developed and this is in the relation of understanding of social human context. It is not only, only developing the professional capacity, but we have to create the professional which, with ethics and importance of public purpose. As you know that the teachers is the only person who can not only transform the education or knowledge in true sense, but transform the learner in the form of high value and ethics uh, teaching. And creating the, uh, the education for practice, education for to happen and professional education uh, not in isolation, but in a holistic manner. Professional education is a, it has to be integral part of overall education system. The practice of setting up standalone institution will go away. Basically, when the teachers are coming with different background, the integration of different uh, different subjects, different expertise will create the transdisciplinary subject concept and this concept will help the student to under, understand any concept in multiple angles and that, that will become extremely important as far as retention of the knowledge is concerned. As you know that every field, whether it is uh, uh, education for engineers or education for agriculture, pharmacy, architect, management, hotel management. These all institutions will, will be a professional education which will become integral part of the conventional education system of higher education. That is important because to bring together the expertise with that level of expertise where you can bring together the expertise to create the interdisciplinary subject concept and that is possible as you know that when any practice, any product, any, any technology is to be perfected, it has to be perfected in all aspects contributed by the experts from different field, tested with all aspect and then it is possible to back by the performance commercial guarantee and hence when we talk about creating knowledge, technology concept, product or process, the, the acceptance level will be better when it is perfected through interdisciplinary approach development and hence the teachers with different backgrounds, the best skill of teacher is also to collaborate for knowledge cooperation and to collaborate, to work in team, bring the expertise together and that is possible when we talk about creating the interdisciplinary approach of learning process and this is the possible.